Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the experts where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. My name is Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian, and I am your co-host Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. In this episode, we've been talking about investing in real estate. This is the third segment of four segments, and we're going to be talking about property management with AJ Dial. Hi, AJ. Hi. I really, really, really enjoyed the, the first couple segments we have with you, and the reason I did is because you explain everything exactly what people they need to know. Not just come invest, come invest, and we, you know, it's not about just the 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 invest with you. It's about education, and people are dying to have someone like you who brings education to the table not just want to take their money and just investment so you care and that's very important to me to have someone like you who cares about the other person who explains why it's important for you right now to invest in real estate in uh, business and houses so in this segment we're going to be talking about the property management property management and that goes along with all real estate when you're buying something, uh, how you need to manage that. So please educate us. Okay, that. just like always, you know, always we have to think about somebody else's money is like our own money. Nice. We Very buy nice. and sell apartment complexes. We have a lot of investors from the commercial side and we know what they're looking for. At okay. the end of the day, they want to look at their cap rate. They want to look at what the ROI is. And at the end of the day, they want to make X percent. Mm -hmm. Now, from the gross rent, what they're getting, they have expenses. So when, it, when we talk about property management, whether we are talking about commercial level apartment complexes or we're talking about residential level where we are talking about single family houses, the bottom line for the investor is to keep their expenses low and make a return on their money. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the bottom line. And that is the most important thing to understand from the perspective of an investor. So they have a peace of mind and they're multiplying their money because a lot of things can go wrong when you're doing property management. There are a lot of expenses. So one of the most important things is when you have a tenant in place, the tenant has to be screened properly. That's number one. That's number one. Screen so, your who's renting your place very, very well, right? Yes, okay. so that they have income coming back, they have a good background, there are no evictions, there is no problem. So there is no They high don't ruin your house before they leave your the apartment or whatever. So there is no high turnover. Okay. So the high turnover means the too many tenants coming from one door and they're leaving from another door mm -hmm. too quickly. Because what happens at that time, you have to go back and fix the property, keep and it ready for the you next a lot one. Of money. That costs them a lot of money. If you have a tenant in there, he's living there for five years, paying you X amount of dollars. So, would you recommend if I'm buying a house or apartments complex? Okay, so you have a service. I'm pretty sure to rent. Uh, to, to check everything out yes. before they rent it to Correct. somebody. Even if you give your money to anyone to do that job for you, they will do it well because they know exactly what they're doing. Correct. Right? If you want to do it yourself, you might be saving money, but then yet you might pay the price way higher. In the long run. In the long run. Because you lose the value of the property, mm -hmm. you lose the peace of and mind. And the turnover. Yeah. You lose the sleep. Yeah. And you're running around trying to fix one faucet, trying to fix one window blind and all that stuff. And it is what I call a mom and pop style. Okay. And that creates a lot of problems. Usually happens in like four plexes type of things, smaller houses and stuff. So they're running around doing a lot of the, lot of things. So you pay for peace of mind. You pay for peace of mind. And it's not that much. If you collect, uh, you know, all the numbers at the end of the day, it is not that much what you gain in the long run. Yes. Because the value of your property is intact. It doesn't get destroyed by not having the right tenant. So if you have one Good. the wrong tenant, then mm -hmm. you're, you, you, to fix your property will cost you a lot of money. Yes. Right? To fix it, then find another person another to go person in. Another person to rent it. Then you rent it again and you don't right. build a relationship. 
everything in business is basically based on relationships. Yes. You have to have pick out the right person who wants to be your tenant, pick out the right property management company that wants to manage your properties and build that relationship. Mm -hmm. So you have a peace of mind, the value of your property goes in, your expenses are low, your turnover rate is low, and at the end of the day, uh, you're gaining and you're, you're getting more and more of the income side so that you can take that money and invest in another property. In another property. We have uh, clients that have 60, almost 60 uh, commercial real estate properties uh, in several different states or more uh, over $100 million. Mm -hmm. So how did they build it? They started with one property here, one property there, but proper property management is really, really important. By doing it right, because now you're not spending your time and your energy and your money trying to rent it and rent it and rent it. Your, your energy and time is spent by investing the money is coming to Correct. different property. Yes. And this is what where your energy needs to go. Exactly. Now that's that's exactly what we're talking about okay. here. So thank you, Amy, for making it clear. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so once you have invested in the, first of all, pick out the right property where you want to invest, hire a good property management company, do a, a background checks on your uh, prospective future tenants, see their eviction history, see their capability of payment of the rent, see uh, uh, their uh, a job history that they've been able to keep the job for a long time. I usually see people with families that they're wanting to send their kids to school. You know, those are people that are really working hard to make the two ends meet. And if you're renting a property to them, you're actually helping them. You're helping the community. And it always comes back to sure. you many folds. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like good karma. Absolutely, absolutely. So that's the first things that you need to do. Basically, hire a company it doesn't matter who he doesn't care but if you would like to have him as you could see uh, he knows what he's doing <laughs> your yeah. company how long your company has been around uh, we've been around for several years now mm -hmm. and uh, what we have done is basically our experiences come from working with a lot of large investors okay so large investors they are large because they're doing something right Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. And uh, so to make their money multiply and grow, you don't take a lot of risks. You don't make a lot of mistakes. And you definitely don't repeat your mistakes. Yeah. And we have an ability to bring that to a smaller investor. So let's say you have one or two houses or you have 10 houses. We have some packages on single family houses that are over 100 houses at the same time that are being that are 91% occupied and so they need to be managed at that level okay. and so if you're a small investor at fourplexes or single family houses we can bring the same value and to education you, you know education, education to, to you. make you a better investor so if you have one house it's okay you can come to AJ and they can help you to be a good investor in the future when we come back, we're going to be talking about the... We're going to be talking more about real estate investing. We're going to be talking about mortgage and lending. Sure. You do not want to miss that. Absolutely. So we will be right back.